Welcome back! In this video I will show you how Workshop VAC could efficiently collect all dust from various workshop power tools. I have a small workshop with few basic woodworking tools. And till now all of them are dependent on a single shop vac. When I'm switching between tools for different operations, I need to follow with a dust hose too. This drives me crazy. So let's change that with a clever homemade device. I starting by cutting 130, 20 and 25 mm strips out of 15 mm plywood. Mark a few reference points for upcoming holes. In the middle of the board I drilled 5 50mm holes by using Forstner bit. After that I changed the bit to 10mm and drilled evenly spaced holes with 5mm depth. I took a regular 50mm PVC pipe and sliced off 6 equal pieces. Inside burrs were cleaned with the burr tool. This small and cheap tool will make life way easier. If you don't have one, you shall get it. One pass leaves a nice and clean edge. Outer burrs I sanded with the sandpaper. Not so effective, but done that job too. Mix some 5 minutes epoxy and glued PVC pieces in prepared holes. Next, I used really strong neodymium magnets. They are rated for 23 newtons of holding power, what is a lot considering the size, 10 mm in diameter and 5 mm in height. They are sitting pretty snug in drilled holes, but I fix them permanently with the same 5 minute epoxy. While the epoxy was curing, I moved to the narrow plywood pieces and glued them together. 30 minutes later, I glued those L-shaped sliders onto the main piece. I placed a scrap plywood piece in the middle to get perfect parallel alignment. I was very careful and tried to avoid any wood glue squeeze outs towards the inside, because I won't be able to remove that insert later. The insert did its job and successfully was removed. Now I will make a second dust splitter part by cutting a small piece of this plywood insert. As with the base, I marked and drilled all holes for the PVC pipe and for the magnets. One more time came back to the drill press and drilled 10mm holes in corners and 50mm hole in the middle. With the same fast curing epoxy, glued magnets and PVC pipe piece in place. I gave the last touch up on the dust splitter base with a palm router and a chamfer bit. First test. My used magnets are in the sweet spot of holding power. I could use only one finger to move the slider, but at the same time it snaps on and centers itself on the next place immediately. Drilled and countersink a pair of holes at an angle which will be used to attach the dust splitter under the workbench. To connect each power tool I bought this 50mm of diameter technical hose. Cut four pieces in needed length and secured on the PVC pipe outlets with the hose clamps. Later on you will see why that one outlet was left open. I found that the perfect place for a dust splitter will be under the workbench, from where I could reach each tool by using the short as possible dust hose. Routed all hoses to the tools and connected with 3D printed adapters. They were designed that will be no needed to use any hose clamps. They simply just turn in the hose like screw. The last piece in the dust collection system is this, 
my homemade cyclone which I built a few years ago. From day one till now it works just perfectly. I'll leave a link in the video description of how it was built. Placed cyclone in place and disconnected the previous intake hose. I will connect it to the first dust splitter port and will use as a free dust hose to clean the mess all around or will connect to the orbital sander or any power tool. The last piece of the hose was used to connect the cyclone inlet port with the dust splitter outlet port. Even with the hose attached, I could use only one finger to switch the slider place between different ports. My dust splitter is designed for fire tools, going from left to right, dust hose, belt sander, miter saw, table saw and the band saw. My shop vac is starting automatically after the power tool is turned on. All I need is to change the dust splitter port before turning the tool. To use the dust hose, I need to turn the shop vac manually, but that's not an issue at all. I made a dust splitter for five tools, but it could be made with your preferred number of ports and sizes. This is a general idea of how the very simple device could be made depending on each workshop needs. And yes, this is one of those builds that I'm questioning myself why I didn't build it years ago. Thanks for your support in subscribing to the channel. This encourages me to keep working on the new projects. Have an awesome day. Bye.